My main aims really were to take a, a good team of people and rejuvenate them um, so that they were achieving the goals that the school had set in terms of our school improvement plan for the next two years. Uh, what I wanted to do was have them working together much more as a team unit um, and create that great consistency of practice uh, all the way across the school and for that, the effect of that to filter down to all levels of management. That includes the senior leadership team, uh, middle leadership and, and teachers in the classroom. I was a bit dubious in terms of, um, I thought, well, maybe this is someone trying to analyse me and pick me to pieces and, um, and I wasn't necessarily sure how comfortable I would have been with that. So I was optimistic but I had my reservations. It sounds a bit kind of touchy-feely from my perspective. Uh, I've been over the years in various sessions where I've felt um, that kind of approach delved too much into pseudo-psychology, knowing yourself and so on. So I came in, um, I don't think I came in with a jaundice view, I, didn't, came in, I didn't come in with a kind of negative view, but I was, I, I was awaiting to be uh, impressed, shall we say. That's my starting point. I've actually found it very good. <laughs> um, I found that the one-to-one -one sessions, we, we never seem to be short of valid things to talk about. Enlightening in terms of um, a great opportunity for self-reflection. Um, it allowed me to look at myself from the outside in, um, which has helped identify changes that I need to make. Um, it was also very enjoyable, especially working with colleagues um, and having that arena whereby we could talk to each other quite frankly. Um, and it's been nice to see the benefits of those frank conversations come into practice. Firstly, with the team itself, I think that giving the opportunity to, to have these kind of group, group sessions and these discussions have allowed us to grow as a team. Um, consistency is one of the biggest things that we got out of it. So um, being able to be in the group sessions, talking to each other, um, we have become more consistent as a group. Um, we, do, we, we communicate a lot more than we did and I feel like we, we are more comfortable with each other as well. Yeah, I'm not just sat and spoke at. Um, I find lot, you know, lots of training and, and, and lots of courses, um, someone that's just delivering. Um, this is very much about taking something and moving it in the direction that you want um, and not being told where you have to go with it. Um, however, there is obviously that guidance um, and obviously the, you know, the models provided, you know, it's very surprising how quickly you identify yourself with those models and understand how you fit with them. Um, however, everything is made relevant to what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, so that's what makes it different. Uh, this is quite different because not only do you have one-to-one -one sessions, you have your group sessions as well, which are really valuable. Um, before when I've been involved in coaching, it, as I said, it's only been for a few hours as part of other uh, courses and, and in a group of, of quite a lot of people. Um, so it's been really valuable to have the one-to-one -one time and then that's supplemented with, with our group work as well. Um, and the group hasn't been so big. It's only you know, a few people, isn't it? So yeah, it's been really valuable. It's more individualised. I think it's, it's, it can be easy for this kind of programme to lapse into um, the convener just making it into a, a talking shop and I don't think this was because it had some theoretical background analysing different people's thinking and learning styles and their, their approach to leadership and management. We did so many different things and there were so many different dimensions to the programme. Usually programmes can be very repetitive and that's some, something that I have a problem with um, and this wasn't, it was the opposite. It, we, it, you know, whenever you, we got so many different, different things, um, different activities and tasks and thoughts and um, it made us think out of the box as well.
I, I chose the, the Every Teacher Matters program because they, they share my philosophy that when you develop and you invest in staff, they can achieve great things. Uh, we had some very good staff here. Uh, the issue with education is it's a very fast moving business, it's continually evolving. So although your, your cause and values as a leader, your philosophy re remains the same, um, the strategies by which you might achieve the goals and the goals themselves will alter from time to time and it's important to realign staff and re-skill staff so that they're able to, to function uh, to the needs of, of themselves and, and the, the organisation, the school that they work for. Because Robin made me um, think from different angles, so it took, take, it took me off out of my comfort zone. So where I would have this interpretation of something and I would be believing this is the way, um, he would make me see it from a different angle, which I thought was really good. So the group sessions um, have, again, resulted in the head of year team being able to spend more time together, more time talking through issues getting to know each other, they are some of the members of that team I knew, so that accelerated the process by which we got to know each other. And I think we now speak much more um, as a collective than we did before. Yeah, as a, as a new member of the school, starting in September, it's been really useful to um, help facilitate additional discussions with my team um, and to meet them more often and um, time to reflect a lot on my own practice, which I've really valued as well. I feel like it hit me in quite a few dynamics and not just kind of right, we're doing this and this is the objective and that is it, because I think it, it, did, it did a lot of things for me as, um, you know, as a middle leader. Um, I feel like it tackled from an individual point of view and then as a group, so I feel like I was, um, I kind of looked after from different angles and I was able to be a bit more open-minded about things as well and also made me self-reflect a lot more and um, something that I'm I haven't done yet in my uh, been able to do because I'm kind of more of a an activist word I learned <laughs> um, and someone who kind of just does and and gets on with it but this program has actually made me stop and reflect and that's a really big thing for me I think the work that um, Every Teacher Matters have done over this most recent um, initiative has been to rejuvenate the, the confidence of a number of our key members of staff in a really important team for the school. The impact has been that uh, they're able to function more efficiently, work into the, the goals that the school has set, realigning with, with the school's vision and delivering more effective outcomes for, for our students. That's had a real impact on, on pupil uh, progress in the classroom. Well, I suppose one endorsement is I've recommended it to somebody else. Um, it's something that I'll be sad not to be continuing with. Yes, I'll definitely recommend this, uh, this programme to other people. I've, I've, I've really enjoyed it. Um, it's given me, um, as I said, a lot of time to reflect on my own practice. So I feel like I, I feel like it was success. If the ob if the objective was to make a team more effective and, and a better team, I think that it was definitely a success. I would recommend it to any school and any team. I would recommend it. Yes. I think I almost certainly will be using every teacher masters again uh, sometime in, in in the near future because. They offer so much that is valuable um, to our school in terms of staff development, in terms of improving people uh, professionally to be able to function uh, within a team and, and within a large organisation, a complex organisation that a school is. There are so many complex issues that uh, the coaches understand um, and that they're able to impart that to the people they work with so that they can develop their expertise in a manner that makes them, I think, happier people and uh, more effective professionals. Even today now I think, oh, now I've just spoken to you, thought about it, I could come back to you for another session and still have something to, to go with. <laughs> so, um, no, it's been really great, so thank you. Thank you, and it has helped to 
I think it's helped tighten me up as well. So, I'm really sad that it's finishing. Yeah. I'm really sad that it's finishing. I feel like, you know, it's, it's, really, it's really sad. You know, this is something that I would love to have all the time. I feel like teachers should, should have kind of coaches, you know, in, in order to better themselves anyway. Like, in general, you know, it, yeah. yeah, just a step out of the whole, the whole you know, um, craziness. Because it is crazy, and teaching is... A, um, a one-way thing sometimes you give 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 all the time and it really you don't have the time to reflect you don't get to st stand back and go oh, have I done that right nobody gives you that opportunity and this forces you to so it's a shame that we can't have you on site all the time <laughs>